Hey there everyone, I'm Bulky Fan 8 and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time we explored the town of Threed, though we didn't really get to do much because Ness and Paula got knocked out and captured by the evil forces of evil. I haven't done that in a while. It felt pretty good. <laughs> so of course we need to find a way to save them. So today, with this new character slash savior of ours, we are going to try to sneak out of school and try to save them. Oh, by the way, his name is Jeff. Yeah, but I think you got that in the last episode. <laughs> but yeah, we first of all need to try to sneak out of school. And, uh, well, it's really not that hard, but we should talk to some people before we leave. Because we won't be able to go to Winters, and, or back to Winters, for quite some time. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the Southern Lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. Tessie, huh? Interesting. I'm sleepy. I'll just wash my face, brush my teeth, and do my business and go to bed. Well, thank you for giving me that very important information. <laughs> I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stone Edge has an entrance leading, leading someplace. Someday, we should check it out. Yeah, remember that for later. Much, 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 much later. I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stone Edge. Many, many claim that they actually seen them. Oh, we will see them. And if we try to touch them, they will knock us out and it will hurt a lot. <laughs> anyway though, I just found present box heaven apparently. I'm so sleepy, but... Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. Oops. Uh, surprise! Yeah, we got Tony with us, by the way. He doesn't really do much, but yay, Tony! And I skipped uh, something with the text. Let's see. I hand decorate. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out the party tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, sure, you do that. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. With meteors! No, no, I'm, no, no, we're not playing tails now, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> anyway, these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around that side. Indeed, there are. But uh, before we leave though, let's raid some of these uh, <laughs> birthday presents, shall we? We get a cookie! And we get another cookie! Yeah, I think you can see where this is going. All these are cookies, so I'm just gonna ignore them, or at least get some of them, and if I need to, I'll come back later and take them with me. Right now, though, cookies aren't really that helpful, even though, yes, Jeff is indeed level 1, but cookies, I mean, I, I don't really need it right now, but uh, this is Maxwell, so let's talk to him. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some troubles with my project. You and me both, Maxwell. <sighs> if only Jeff's father, Dr. Andonuts, were here. He'd be able to provide a great help, deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of the Ultra Science Club. Oh boy, so he was beaten in school too, huh? Yeah. I know that story. <clears throat> I heard his. I heard he's created an Eisenberg or Heisenberg. Uh, don't go too far now. Those uh, Breaking Bad fanboys will come after you. I'm one of them, but I, I know what you mean with Heisenberg. <laughs> Rumor has it he's also very strange. Well, science club, duh. If, you, if you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent though. Well, that was random, but uh, yay, we get the key to the locker. If you leave, call me and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. I love it. But yeah, this is the locker room, so let's uh, try to lo <laughs> lock some of the lockers, yeah. Raid some of the lockers. Jeez, English is hard, but yeah, let's use the key. The key is bent and doesn't fit into the keyhole. <sighs> I don't know why they thought this was a good idea, but what we need to do now actually is to go back to Maxwell. I did not get that on my first playthrough, so I was kind of stuck. But uh, yeah, you want to talk to Maxwell again. <laughs> ah, the key didn't work, did it? I thought that may be the case, so I invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. And thankfully they changed the name to the Bad Key Machine. If you're Dr. Andonut's son, you 
you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Okay then, fine, fine, fine. Yeah, thankfully they changed the name to the bad key machine, because if it actually had the full name, I think that would take like three or four slots in my inventory, to be honest. <laughs> but what Maxwell said there, that if, if he's really Dr. Ananut's son, he will be able to fix stuff. As you see, in Jeff's inventory from the beginning, actually, he got a broken spray can, and there are actually a lot of broken items in the game. And the thing with those items is that Jeff can actually fix them overnight if he got enough intelligence. Like this one, we get a broken air gun, which is a weapon for Jeff if you actually manage to fix it, or he managed to fix it. But as I said, he actually needs more uh, intelligence for uh, more difficult things. But uh, in the other locker though, we get a pop gun. Which is, of course, a weapon for Jeff. Just like with Lloyd in the first game, Jeff's weapon of choice is a gun. And... Well, it works quite nicely. The only problem is that he cannot get smash attacks with a gun. Which also kind of makes sense. And I know there's one of these things that actually... Or one of these lockers that got something in it. That can you use the right item? Thank you. Nothing? Is it the middle one then? I could have sworn there was one more item. I know there is. <laughs> there we go, sheesh. I knew there was a home set somewhere, but I... apparently I couldn't remember where. <laughs> yeah, another thing that I don't really like with the... Uh, no. With the bad key machine is that you need to use it as an item before you can do anything. There's a lot of text, blah blah blah. It takes quite some time. But, uh, yeah, how about we just leave? If you really, really want healing items, of course, go and get all the cookies that you can get, but I think we will be fine. There are some very hard enemies out here, so be careful at least. Better safe than sorry, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, thanks to Tony, actually. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Well, I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know where you're going, or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Aww. I'll admit, I actually really like Tony as a character. I'm a little sad though that the music changed here, but oh well. We couldn't have Snowman forever, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so we have a new store here. And if you see what they actually can sell you... This store sells a lot of good stuff. A T-Rex bat, a non-stick fry pan, a coin of silence. This thing is amazing. But, there is one little problem with this. We don't have an ATM card. So no, we can't take out money to, to actually buy weapons for Ness and Paula or the coin of silence. But, that doesn't mean that you can't buy it, but I'll get back to that when we leave this, uh, this house. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey, he's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubblegum, he c you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck, so do you want him? A uh, monkey? The yeah, sure. Thanks, the monkey's yours. Uh, and Jeff got, got the pack of bubblegum, but not only that. Icky kick, give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and blew a bubble. Yeah. Not really the uh, most interesting party member, but the bubble monkey joins the party. Yay. Ah, uh, trust me, he is actually important to the story, so you need to do this. But anyway, since, uh, as I said, you can actually buy the, uh, the weapons in that store. The only thing you need to do, of course, is grind, 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 grind. And I am not really te that tempted to do that. I've done it before, yes, I bought two, two coins of silence and I bought a T-Rex bat for Ness. But it took me forever. So, I do not recommend it. At all. The only thing it's good for is waste your time. Yes, you will become a little bit stronger. For a while. 
but it will it will go out very fast so it's not worth it in my opinion if you want to sure the enemies out here give good experience some of them also drop items which is your only way to actually get the money since you don't have an ATM card. But anyway, from that battle, Jeff is now level 2, offense up by 1, HP by 2, and that is it. Holy crap, that's a bad first level up. Not good at all, and as you see also, just like Lloyd in the first Mother game, Jeff is the only party member in the game that cannot use PSI. And some people say that he is kinda underwhelming because of it, I'll say that I can see what they mean, but then again, I think Jeff is a very good party member regardless. I mean, he's level 2 now, and he is already one-shotting enemies, and uh, of course that may just be his weapon, but I think Jeff is actually a very strong party member. And of course, Jeff is also the only party member that can use items like the bottle rockets which are the strongest hits in the game. So, yeah, I really like Jeff. He's also the party member that I think at least got the most character growth, but, uh, well, that's not really saying much since none of the characters actually got that much development. But, uh, yeah, let's just talk to these people before I start babble too much. Again! <laughs> so why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink? Perhaps some tea? Yeah, sure, why not? If you want to grind, this of course is the place for you if you are uh, a little bit weak, if you need to heal up and all that. The tame animals have become wild. Something's evil is going on. You have no idea, good sir. But, uh, oh god, no, 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 I am stupid monkey. This is probably not gonna be too good. This is the gruff goat. These guys, you do not want to try your luck against for quite some time. He got two moves. First, oh yeah, this one, <laughs> where he tramples you. As you saw, didn't really do much damage because I got Holmes hat. The other one, he will tear into you, and thank god I'm getting lucky here. Just like the uh, boss at the Lilliput step. Unless you got very lucky with a couple of levels, or you're at least level four or so, that attack will most likely one-shot you. The Holmes hat is not gonna save you. It will do 20 to 30 damage. It's gonna hurt. A lot. I got incredibly lucky there. <laughs> but at least they actually give pretty good experience. They are very good if you want to level up. So that will definitely be enough for Jeff to get a new level. That's for damn sure. <laughs> level 3. IQ up by 1. HP by 2. Wow. You know, Jeff, I just said that I really, really liked you, uh, like you as a character. And then you get level ups like that. What the heck? <laughs> At least I get more free cookies, that's nice. Actually, I'm gonna use one just because I can. And because my, wow, my, uh, my inventory is full. Wow, that's kinda sad already. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't really recommend to take all those cookies. If you feel that you need to, sure, go ahead, but, uh, also, I, I think you kind of need at least, a, at least a little bit of inventory space, so it's not really that worth it, in my little opinion. But, uh... Oh, right, this is the empty tent. Yeah, never mind then. Don't know why it's here, but it is, so whatever. <laughs> but we have come down to the southern lake. Tessie may be unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. Yeah, we heard about Tessie in the school, but I didn't really talk much about it. Tessie is basically the Loch Ness Monster, Earthbound style, yeah. <laughs> I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Uh, chew! Uh, I feel like I'm catching a cold. Well, if you're outside in the wind, in the snow, I mean, this is winters after all. Winters is coming, get it? Yeah? People would kill me if I didn't make that reference, so, of course you're cold. <laughs> oh, what a cute little monkey! Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe monkeys don't like gum. No, this guy really does, so, yeah. <laughs> You're right. We're here at Lake Tess, waiting to see Tessie. We're known as Tessie Watching Club. Wow, that's embarrassing. So you've also been bitten by Tessie Mania. Well, you're in luck. We may be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. Now, before we do that, though, I actually want to level grind a little bit. Because, of course, Jeff will be going straight to Threed. 
and you've already seen that those enemies are not to be messed with. So, ooh, Magic Butterfly, which is completely useless to Jeff, by the way, but I'm gonna take it anyway, because... I love the butterflies. So, I will meet you guys right back here when I leveled up Jeff a little bit. Or I guess I could just show you this. Instead of PSI, Jeff got a spy command. And if you use it, it's basically like a uh, magic lens in the Tales games, but you'll get some little information about an enemy. Let's see. Yeah, you can stop with that, please. Thank you. Let's see, the Gruff goes weak to fire and weak to freeze, open to hypnosis. Yeah, it, it, there is a way to actually see a enemy's uh, weakness in this game, which is pretty much the uh, the only reason why I have info boxes in the game. If you ow, if you uh, if there's no way to actually see a enemy's HP, but uh, yeah, I decided in this game I kind of prefer Jeff to do damage instead of spying, so that's why I have the weaknesses in the uh, info boxes. And now Jeff is now level 4. Oh baby, offense up by 3, now that's what I want to see. Defense up by 3, definitely. Speed up by 2, guts by 2, IQ by 1, luck by 1, HP by 2. Very, very, very nice. If only that... Uh, <laughs> Goat did not completely wreck me, that would be even better. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> and there we go. Just level is now 5. Vitality up by 1. Finally. A little bit HP at least. IQ by 1. HP by 9. Okay, I'll take that. Definitely. More HP is always nice, especially with a level 5 character. But as you see, Jeff is already becoming pretty strong. 22 offense and 50 defense. Yeah, he's coming along nicely, but yeah, I'll just meet you guys back in the camp now. And we are back! Yeah, I just stopped at level 5 because I just don't care anymore. <laughs> no, but level 5 should be enough for a while at least, even though the enemies in 3 are very strong, but I think we'll be fine. And we also have a teddy bear or two still, so yeah, it's okay. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Oh yeah. Those 15 minutes, man, they are the slowest 15 minutes of your life. And you wish you never had them. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but for now, though, let's just talk to this guy. I'm gonna cook for the Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? Yes, please. Oh, no, 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 there, there's no need to pay me. Thank you. I needed that. You're a friend who I've never met before. Jeff, head south. I'm Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. Working throughout the night, Jeff fixed a broken spray can and it became the defense spray afterwards. Yes, so he got enough IQ now to fix that at least. I would prefer the gun, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Because that, as I said, will actually become a weapon for him, but we'll try later on, I guess. Oh, maybe that whirlpool is. Oh my god, it's Lugia! No, run away! This is what we've been f waiting for. Finally, it's coming out! Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Goddamn writing! Tess is emerging! Really? Oh, what a cute little... Uh, I'll already talk to you. Okay, you have the same thing. Okay. Now, before we leave, though, let's take a goodbye picture with at least a bubble monkey. Since, sadly, he will be leaving the party soon. Pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say fuzzy pickles. Voice crack. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Aw. Even when Ness is captured, the photographer guy is still having fun. <laughs> oh, well, let's just go to this very, very obvious spot. Yeah, yeah, cool! Give me some bubble gum. Now! I'll take care of everything. This is just awesome. Even though Tessie looks a little derpy, but still awesome. So yeah, 
We are definitely playing a mother game here, folks. We are riding the Loch Ness Monster. Do I even need to say anything? Seriously? I... I don't really think this, this thing can be put into words. <laughs> Though I will say I actually really like this little segment. Though short, it's still pretty sweet. Even though Tessie's soulless eyes are looking into my soul, trying to steal it. I know you're. I know they're only pixels, but they kind of freak me out, to be quite honest. Oh well, still, still cool. <laughs> Bye, Tessie, and thank you. Can you just take me straight to three? That would be very nice. No? Okay. Bye. So yeah, we got to the other side of the lake at least. What awaits us on the other side though? Apparently more goats. Fair enough. Bring it on, big boy. I don't like those goats. Seriously, they hurt. Cookie, eat, go. <laughs> but anyway, well, 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 would you look at that. If only we had a pencil shaped object remover. Hmm. Nah, no, that would be too stupid. No, no. <laughs> of course, we should come back here with the rest of the party later on, when we rescue them. But, we have a cave here. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in. Well, thank you. But, I think we are gonna do that next time. Yes, I know we didn't really get to do much in this episode, except level up Jeff a little bit. But next time will be a little bit more eventful, because we are gonna fly high! Spoilers. I didn't say how, I'm just gonna say, I just said we're gonna fly. <laughs> so, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all later.